Chapter 4, Mishnah 3. Having mentioned Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai's innovation regarding the shofar, the next two Mishnayos list another four of his degrees. The first of these concerns the mitzvah of taking the four species, Lulav, Etrog, Hadassim, and Arvot on Sukkot. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. Originally, when the temple still stood, the Lulav, together with the other sp three species, was taken in the temple on all seven days of Sukkot and in the provinces, i.e. outside the temple. It was taken on only one day, the first day of Sukkot, when the second temple was destroyed. Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai decreed that the Lulav be taken even in the provinces on all the seven days of Sukkot in commemoration of the temple. Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai also issued a decree regarding the prohibition against eating grain of the new crop, Hadash, before the Omer offering is brought in the temple on the second day of Pesach, the 16th of Nisan. According to biblical law, the new crop is permitted as soon as the Omer offering is brought. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai established what must be done after the temple was destroyed and the Omer offering was no longer brought. And he decreed that the new crop is forbidden the entire day of waving, that is the entire second day of Pesach, when the Omer offering was waved in the temple.